Well, welcome back, guys. Um, we did not go out this morning, obviously. Um, it is midday. I'm on a solo mission at the first spot. It, the ice is not looking good. I thought this was going to be frozen, but it's looking pretty open. Um, there's still some ice. We're going to check it just to make sure, because this spot's usually pretty good early ice. I want to make sure I didn't drive all the way out this way for nothing. So I'm going to go check out the ice. I'm going to strap on the GoPro I'm going to bring you guys with. So hopefully this spot works out. But anyway, I'm going to go strap on the GoPro, like I said, and I'll see you guys out there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It's freaking warm out, boys. I should've brought the sunglasses. It's so sunny out. My eyes are just like fried. Not good. Slap her in. Close the mommy car. Just not looking minty at all. What do we got there? Well, ain't bad. How about that much ice right here? That doesn't mean that there's this much ice out here. So we'll just keep checking. Still about the same. What do we got here? Oh, that's even thicker. Okay, Chief. Bet, 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 bet. Good stuff. We got good ice all the way up to here. How thick is this? Right here. solid I don't even know how much ice that is right there that's solid three four inches freaking minty boys now all I have to do is walk back to the car safely follow where I drilled my holes so I don't fall through who knows where they're sitting places anyway I'll see you guys back at the car well yeah safe freaking ice boys I'm so pumped hopefully we'll get some some big crappies today but anyway I'm gonna load up the sled head out there hopefully we can catch them and I'll see you guys out there how's it going guys I'm back I'm clearly on the ice we got two tip-ups set up way out there. We're fishing in about 10 feet of water. I was using this little flash spoon from VMC, uh, pink color, and hopefully I'll whack them. This water's kind of stained, 10 feet of water, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get on some crappies. I'm just using minnow heads for right now, and I'm gonna drop down, see if I can't attract any, if not get any. So, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys a better look what we're working with is. Here it is, and uh, we're gonna drop her down, first drop of the day, see if we can't get a bite. Perfect. We're gonna be jigging her about a foot off bottom. So we can get any marks to come in. Well, there's a variety of fish species we can catch out here. Pike, perch, walleye, crappie. Those are the main species we're gonna catch out here. I'm thinking majority of fish we're gonna catch are gonna be pike and crappie. Hopefully more crappie than pike. Maybe we'll get a bonus jumbo perch too. I don't really know. I guess we'll find out, but Got a good feeling about this, boys. There's some marks. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Jumbo perch. Holy shnikes. Oh, oh, look at that, boys. Holy shit. Holy smokes. Boys, no freaking way. Oh my god. Jumbo perch. Oh my freaking god. You're freaking kidding me. Boys. <laughs> I saw a giant mark come off the bottom. And he absolutely just came up and whacked me. Oh my god. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Oh, thank god. We're fishing eight feet of water, boys. There's two fish down there. One raced up and just absolutely slammed it. Oh my god. Let's see if we can't get another one, eh? That's freaking money. Okay, I don't want to kill Buddy. We're gonna get a quick picture of them. You guys just have no idea what happened. I drilled, crapped in the holes, I was hole hopping. There was a giant mark that came up on me. I got on camera, thank God. Oh my God, it was a giant mark. Came up, just whammed it, set the hook. Giant perch. Look at that freaking tank. I got him sitting in the middle bucket right now. I'm gonna get him some more oxygen, more water, and then we're gonna take a few pictures. We'll get a good release on him, he's too big to keep. But let's freaking go. All right, we're gonna get a release on Buddy. Hee 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 hee. 
I wasn't even looking. Nice little Walter came by. Maybe we'll do a little catch and cook. Yeah, we'll keep him. He's a good eater. Well, Criminy boys, that one came out of nowhere. Absolutely like chowder. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking over here to my right. All of a sudden, I felt my rod tip going doink, 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 doink. Looked up and there's a fish. I was like, sheesh. It's one way to do her. Nice little Walter, nice 15, 14 inch here. She's gonna eat well tonight. Sun's going down. Hopefully the fish start biting. And uh, haven't had anything on the tip ups yet. Kind of surprising. Anyway, we're gonna keep fishing see if we don't get any more, so stay tuned. Freaking tank of a perch. Holy sh Boys, look at that freaking thing. Let's freaking go. Boys, look at this freaking tank of a perch. Oh my freaking goodness, dude. That was freaking crazy. Well, that was fun. Let's do that again, eh? Drop back down. So, oh, there we go. I dropped down. Didn't even see my mark. Oh, no. That was another good... God dang it. That was a good walleye. Another keeper walleye right there, boys. I'm botching. He's still sitting down there. Oh, no. He's gone now. Shit. God dang. I didn't even mark him. What the heck? Let's hope this one goes a lot better now, boys. Okay. There he is. Look at that. Coming up already. Coming up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't be a pansy. Oh, come on, homie. Homie. Oh. There we freaking go. Dropped up in the deucer. Little walker. Just a baby bird. There we go. We'll let buddy go. Dude, you can raise him so high, too. It's literally... Eight and a half. These marks are so big, dude. Oh, my God. Hold up. Chill, 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 chill. No, they disappeared. No. Oh, yeah. Here comes one. Oh, there we go. Dig in. Oh. Walter. <laughs> 16. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. Dude, this is always so stupid. I drilled out, so there's a little drop off right off the weed edge. I'm just fishing right off there. I'll call you after I'm done fishing. Oh, I got another mark, dude. Hold up. Oh, I missed it. Hold on. I'm so dumb. He's coming back up for it, dude. I am so oh, cheeks. God, dude. This is another dink. There's so many little dinks in here, bro. God, it's making it... What? What? You... 12 inches? He absolutely choked it, though. Tiny fish. Oh, my God. How is this even real? Huh. Look at this. Look at this little guy. We'll let him go. It's a little Walter. Come on. Oh, that's a good mark. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, just a little wonky. God dang, Rick. Just choked her. Little baby bird. I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Um, well, fishing got really cold and my hands were absolutely frozen. I said, screw this, I'm leaving. And I kind of forgot to pick up the camera after that. Um, so my apologies on that part. And I just kind of, kind of want to talk about it. Um, there's a couple other people around me and I didn't want to get too hype and have them horn in on me. And kind of steal my spot, that kind of thing. Because um, they weren't catching really much fish either. Um, they were catching a few smaller fish, but no one was catching perch or walleye like I was. Um, I think I was just in the lucky spot. The reason why I kept that big perch was because, well I had one walleye already and I didn't know if I was gonna catch any more because it's being pretty slow right away in the day and I ended up catching that perch and I was like, you guys wanted a perch catch and cook, so I'll give you guys a perch catch and cook, so I kept it. And the slough that we actually fished today, um, there's a lot of perch in there, 
but they're really hard to catch and when you do catch them they're jumbos just like that one and uh, the spot actually gets pressured quite a bit and a lot of people do keep the perch so i was like you know what what is one perch gonna hurt um i usually like to release a bigger fish like that the 12 13 inch perch um i'm not usually a big fan of keeping them here it freaking is look at that freaking jumbo this thing's nice and big and then we got mr walter little guy and Mr. Walter. Most of you guys already know how to clean the fish and if you guys have watched my previous videos, you guys know how to too. Um, it's gonna do the same way. Basically, you just make a cut right here and you take your knife, come down through here. Once you get past the ribs, you go all the way through and then you cut finish and you just take it off the skin and then you take out the pin bones and it's ready to go. Um, if you guys wanna watch a video on how to do it, I'll leave a link down below to the last video. It's the same thing as a walleye, same thing as a perch. Um, they all end up the same. Anyway, I'm gonna clean these fish up and I will see you guys inside. Well, I just got inside after cleaning all those fish and guess what time it is? 9.56. That is right, it's freaking late and I'm tired and I'm hungry. I haven't mean, ate since noon today. As you guys can tell right here, we got the perch. It's a little different color. They're both very white meat fish. This is a walleye. Um, this just has a little different look to it than the walleye does. Um, either way, perch and walleye taste really good. Some people like to say that perch is their favorite. Some people like to say walleye is their favorite. If any of you guys have ever had both of them, leave a comment down below which one you guys like more, walleye or perch. For me, I would have to say it's walleye. I do like perch. Perch probably is second, but walleye is number one. Walleye will always be number one for me. Anyway, I'm gonna start cooking these and I'm gonna show you guys how. I'm gonna turn on the stove on a low, medium heat. Then, we're gonna need a lot of butter. You know, you can't go wrong with a lot of butter. Ah, oh, screw it, we'll just use the whole thing of butter, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna go let that melt and then we'll come back. Butter is melted. Take our lovely, yes, this is a freaking perch filet. I know, it looks like a walleye. We're just gonna slap her in. Turn up the heat just a little bit, not too much. Oh yeah, oh yeah, but Oh wow, that's hot. Slap, so that's the perch. Now we're gonna go in for a couple walleye pieces. I'm freaking hungry, boys, I know. Don't be judging, it's your boy's fat, right? Now we're just gonna take some salt, just sprinkle some on there. The next step is some lemon pepper. This will go a long way, so you don't need a whole lot on this either. Just a little sprinkle. Sprinkle on top. Make sure you, you cover it. Turn down the heat just a tad, it's a little hot. Take some onion powder, then you're gonna do some garlic. Why are y'all curling your tail? What's that strat? What is that strat? If any of you guys know why it's curling like that, leave a comment down below. Is it just because it's too hot right away? Or what, what, what's that scratch? I don't know. We're gonna rock with it. Se second thing you're gonna need is some honey. I like it to be a little sweet. You'll need a whole lot if it ever comes out. Basically, you're just gonna do a little glaze over it like this. Come back around. The same exact thing on the way back. Oh, now she's coming out fast. Get some in the middle. Oh yeah. And all that's gonna do is add a little sweet flavor and then we're gonna flip her and then we're gonna repeat the same thing and it should be ready to go. About two minutes each side and uh, should be freaking minty, man. I'm pretty excited to eat this. I haven't had perch or walleye in a long time. Well, I guess I had walleye the other day. I haven't had perch in a long time, so I'm excited and uh, we'll see you guys when that's done cooking. Oh yeah, and then for the side, we got some olive oil and garlic brown rice. Never had it before, we're just gonna throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds and it should be ready to go. And that's gonna be your side dish. Ooh, my goodness. Oh my god, that looks freaking amazing. Anyway, here's the perch. This is a perch, that's a walleye. Perch looks great, not gonna lie. All the fish looks good, the rice even looks good. Pretty excited to try this. We're gonna let it cool down because it just did get out the oven. It's gonna be freaking hot and I don't wanna burn my mouth. So we're gonna let that cool down for about two minutes and then we're gonna start murking this. Got a little bit of honey on there. So you guys can tell, very white. Cooked perfectly, not overcooked. We're gonna win. Cheers. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, that's freaking good. You can taste a little bit of the lemon, a little bit of the pepper, and the honey. The honey's perfect. It's just a little bit of sweetness, and not a whole lot. We're gonna try some rice and some fish. So cheers, big bites only. Mm. Daisy, this is freaking good. Even Daisy wants some. You want some Daisy? I'll give you a little piece. Just a little piece, okay? Oh, bro, what are you doing with that nose? Go get it. Yeah, there you go. Come here, hey. Come here, was that good? What'd you rate that? 
Huh? Hey, look up here. Oh, you want some more. You want some more. You can't stop looking at your nose because it's so good. Well, at least that's going to keep her occupied for a little bit. Anyway, you know what? The perch is good. Now we got to try the walleye. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Ah, snap. Walleye still my favorite. That was freaking good, though, wasn't it, Days? Yeah, it was good. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy myself with this lovely meal. And I hope you guys can get out on the ice and catch some walleye or perch or whatever you can. Some of you guys should try this recipe if you have never before. Definitely recommend it. It's something a little bit different. It's pretty easy, it's pretty simple, and it's quick, and it tastes amazing. Thanks for tuning in today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys on the next one.